I'm Oak Norton, and for the past 15 years, I've been heavily involved in education activism in Utah. Our state has experienced tremendous population growth over the last few decades, particularly along the Wasatch Front. Every year, some school districts float bonds and tell voters they need to build new schools to accommodate this growth. Well, with the financial difficulties we're experiencing in America, it may be time to look outside our traditional thinking and consider some options. Some years ago, tiny Singapore was facing a dilemma. They recognized that children were their number one resource and their education had to be their top priority. With limited land and a growing population, they needed more schools but had nowhere to put them. Their solution? Instead of using the school for one set of students a day, they would double up and have two sessions of school each day. So a morning group would attend from seven to noon and an afternoon group from one to six. During this time, Singapore ranked number one in the world for math due to their excellent curriculum that they had developed. Trying this would save Utah hundreds of millions of dollars in construction costs. A second option is to reduce the school day. Does anyone actually think the mandated 990 hours spent at school equates to a certain amount of learning? You and I know that's not the case. Well, there's already some fantastic schools in Utah that don't have a full school day. In one online school, children attend class for two hours a week for each class for a total of 10 to 14 hours in class. Assignments are given where students spend an additional two to three hours outside of classes to study and prepare for the next class. So the amount of time in school is roughly the same as if they were going to a school building full time. But this model allows for giving students greater autonomy and responsibility with a dramatically reduced need for buildings, even if it was at a public school where this was being done. It's more like a college experience instead of the traditional middle or high school experience that we're familiar with. I think it's brilliant because children learn how to be independent lifetime learners and work to achieve goals while they're at home with a support structure in place before they ever get to college where they have to have the discipline to do it alone. This model dramatically reduces the amount of time needed for classrooms and buildings and increases valuable family interactions. It reduces distractions in the classroom from children who have sat too long without the freedom to move. And it allows for more personal learning as a teacher or mentor helps students understand how to do research and dig into topics of interest to them. If we start to treat children more like adults, they'll mature faster because they'll sense the respect that they're being given and learn to self-control to manage themselves. Either option would dramatically give Utah room to grow without spending hundreds of millions of dollars on new buildings every year. Taxpayer money saved.